Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I am Kareem Clemens. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for following me. Right here, right now, this is Jury Review. Okay, at this time, I'll run my disclaimer. This channel and these videos are not meant for children under the age of 13. Omega Studio News Talk Show Tea Content Warning Jury Review Over the Age of 18. Okay, and welcome, 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 guys, to Jury Review. I am Kareem Clemens. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you so much for following me right here, right now. So, you guys are like, where are you? Where you at? Well, I'm here. It's just that uh, I'm faded out. I have the uh, jury people in the background. Uh, that's because, you know, I have a little problem with my internet. So usually if I do the, um, the uh, what you call it, the video, it usually messes up. So I'll give you guys the jury people in the background right here, right now. All right, so let me just go ahead and, uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. It's a lot of stuff going on. And I'm not really sure, like, if anything, hold on, let me get this up. If anything, uh, it's just it's just a lot going on. First of all, I do want to say welcome to Jury People back. Happy New Year's. I have you guys back here with us in the studio. Uh, you guys been gone, and it's just been so much happening. But before I continue, I just want to say breaking news coming from out of New York. There has been a, another shooting yet again, and this time an officer, an officer lost his life. An officer lost his life, and I'm, I'm just really disgusted by the fact that you know, um, this officer just became an officer not too long ago. Like, we're talking about 2020. And he's 22 years old. And so you want to say he joined the force, like, around, uh, I would say, I'm sorry, I would say around uh, 18 years old. So, yeah, so we have this officer who basically, uh, his name is Jason Rivera, he's 22 years old, and, you know, it's just sad to understand the fact that this man was gunned down in uh, Harlem, where him and his other officer, his co-partner, his partner was responding to a uh, domestic violence call, and it was there a mother was having a problem with her son and when a police officer arrived they pretty much had um interaction and i guess the man opened fire shooting killing him and then wounding the other officer but they said that he was listed in grave condition uh or critical condition at the hospital other officer the 23 officer was listed in grave condition passing away so that he will be considered the first officer killed in New York, in New York, uh, 2020. Uh, we do know that uh, some officers had, uh, I think they said that the reporting has shown more than five shootings happened in the year so far in January 2020. Today is 2022, 2022, 2222. Two, two, two. And, you know, beginning of the year, you had one officer who was sitting in his patrol car resting, and he pretty much was shot uh, by a stray bullet. And then you have another officer, I guess was in Staten Island, who was responding to a call, and he was shot and grazed. And you had another officer who was grazed using his uh, shield to protect him and his other officers. And then you have this right here. I don't know. Some people are saying, you know, it's really sad because now the mayor is a new mayor for New York. And, you know, it's just a lot of stuff happening on top of where other stories come out of New York, where, you know, you had the fire that killed 
17 people, almost 18 people injuring a lot of people in that building. Then you had the the the, the young girl, the 19 year old girl who was shot and killed in Burger King, and then you had the other uh, people, um, who was a homeless man who pushed an Asian person on the train tracks in uh, in New York. They they treated it as a hate crime. You know, uh, and then another one where a person pushed another lady in front of the train, he turned himself in. I, I, I'm not understanding. I don't know if it's because the mayor, is it because the fact that there is, you know, I don't know, like maybe because the um, police department don't have the resources because they were defunded at some point. I don't know. I just know that the uh, the old mayor's out, there's the new mayor in, and a lot of things are happening, and it's just really, really sad. Really, really sad, and I don't know how to explain it, but it's just happening. It's happening, it's happening, you know? So, yeah, so this officer lost his life. He didn't even have the opportunity to, you know, further his career. He hasn't, he, he hasn't even uh, had the opportunity to prioritize his, his career and basically, uh, you know, do what he needs to do. So what I'm going to do is I think, I think this is working. So let me just go ahead and shine myself back in. I think it was at 46. Uh, so hopefully we don't have any problem. Hold on, hold on. Oops. Okay, I think it was like that's 40. Six, forty-seven. All right, cool. So I'm here. All right. It's just that when the internet goes out, usually in and out. I don't know what the. You know, you guys. I've been having problems and jury people. You guys. It's just that's the reason why I haven't really been uh, getting the videos up. I got to do it all at one time. But the whole optimal thing, guys, go and check out my videos on there but as soon as that shit happens i'm just gonna go zoom out and then come back in because i got a new way of doing it instead of doing the audio all right so yeah so welcome to jur the jury people let me just bring myself up so welcome to jury people uh jury people are back here with us they usually uh usually do on fridays uh uh usually at eight o'clock or nine o'clock but you know with technical difficulties is problems but it's all good because we're here all right so yeah so this young officer he lost his life and it's just sad because he was just 22 years old he was 22 years old and he had everything to look forward to and then this happens and then you want to look at the fact that the gun that was used in this shooting was it looked like a handgun, like a uh, like a regular gun, and then it had like an extended mag. The magazine was like one of those Tommy guns, you know, like the Tommy gun with the, the circle. I don't know what to call it, but that would hold a lot of ammo, and I would think that that gun would be automatic if it had that type of clip to it. So my thing is, is that whoever this person was that killed him, they actually killed that the suspect. Okay. And then it's so crazy, people, from the jury people and out there. Every time when you hear about a situation, it's always about a person who has been out, who's either out on a, a charge, bail, probation, parole. Um, they have extensive backgrounds, a long jacket. So it's like, what do you do? How do you do this? And it's like they... They're blaming criminal justice reform and then they're blaming other things. So my thing is this. I, I, I don't any city that says that they are having problems with their court system, I don't want to hear it. Okay. I do not want to hear it because the fact is, is that there are a lot of states right now that are doing court over Zoom. Like you can have a box here, box here, box here, box here, box there. It could be the court reporter, the judge, the camera at the jail, okay? The camera to the room that's going to have the family people come in. You could do a juvenile. You could do adult. 
there's no reason why you should come up with an excuse saying that there you cannot have court because they're short staff and you know it's not going to happen you go to cook county on youtube you can follow uh them and their uh techniques and how they do it you can go on youtube and follow uh judge kim i follow from texas they do it out there camera all on on youtube all right and they use zoom they use zoom because it's safe and everybody don't have excuses saying that we can't get shit done okay we getting it done jury review getting it done jury people behind behind us here look cook county cook county courtroom live right now they're live right now i can't show y'all because it will um um uh, uh, uh you, there's like stipulations where you can't record audio and but you can go up there they don't even have faces up there it's like one black screen and you just hear you just just hear and people go on youtube and just hear the family members can just hear you you don't even have to go to court you can be right in your home to listen to what's happening to your loved one so the court don't have no excuse of saying that they cannot have court hearings because they have personnel that's out because they're sick there's not enough people that's going to do to get the job done you can get the job done get these guys off the street and stop this madness because that's exactly what's happening this madness is because they're allowing these people to go back on the street they're letting and matter of fact they mind you and i reported this on the show to jury people you guys i reported that during the time of the pandemic right during the time of the pandemic there was during the time of the pandemic there was a uh, part where they had to let most of the people out of jail because they didn't want the uh the, the jail population for the people to get coronavirus so they let some of those people out and they was like well at, after this whole lockdown stuff or epidemic is over we're not it's not really over we're still in it you guys got to come back so maybe like six months eight months passed by and all these people that they let out they were they some of some got a job some got jobs they they started families they moved they got homes they got they, they, they just getting their life right and then right when it was time for them to go back people was like no advocates was like no you can't send these people back these people have now become part of society but but you know the deal the deal was that's what i'm saying the only way you only way things are happen if you implement it you got to see what the bottom line was when they signed that dotted line saying that okay no if ends or buts you got to bring your ass back into custody because you know this is this is what it is but it's like you know these people you you you're like brainwashing them like okay you tell them to do this get their life together and it's like you bring them right back in when the pandemic's not even over we're dealing with more variants and then we got this new uh variant that we're dealing with trying to get people to get vaccinated and get their booster shots and wear their mask and practice six feet distance but it's like so that's what's happening jury people that's exactly what's happening you know we still dealing with this today right here on jury review Okay, so uh, right here. Oh, you, you guys like that? Did y'all did y'all enjoy the the new thumbnail? Let me just show y'all that again. Did y'all enjoy my new thumbnail? I mean, it's it's awesome. It's dope, right? I love it, right? Got the jury people back. Got me doing my thing. It is what it is. Jury review. Okay. So yes. So um. So yeah. So we do have some other news that I want to talk about with the jury people right here, right now. Oh, also um jury people let me just update y'all update, update drew uh you guys know when we was here last time uh in 2021 we had talked about when um young Dolph, young Dolph, or uh, uh adolf thatcher jr who was killed in memphis 
I want to update y'all, the jury people update, if you guys haven't known, that they have now caught the suspect. They have two people, two people in custody. They have two people in custody. And one of the people who they have in custody, he was delaying himself to bring himself in custody. He said, we're going to turn himself in. He never did. But come to find out that this man is out on, uh, he's a sexual offender, sexual offender out in the society. And that's what I'm saying. It's like these people are out in society and it's like they just let them out because they feel that all hell just broke loose and they just gotta sit them back into the community because it's yes it's, it's almost just like that it's almost just like that i hope i don't get in trouble for saying this but it's just like that it's like they the people who come to the country here and they feel like they need to go and in, into the population they're sending to the communities i mean it's nothing bad saying that. It's that, that that's what happens. They send them to the community, and it's like you bring them into the community, and it's like boom. That's like with the criminal justice. You put them back in the community, and then what they do? They go out there and start stealing, thieving, robbing, carjacking, murdering, attempted murder, assault, killing officers. It's just really crazy. It's really crazy, and you know this has to stop. Like it has to stop. It needs to be instead of those people. This 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 is what I need to say. Okay, this ain't what's going on in America, but I do want to say this right here. And then before I continue, let me just put this up here. Warning: these views and expressed opinions expressed on this program are just that views and opinions. Don't take any of this serious, but I will warn you: your discretion is advised. Okay, so this is what I have to say. This is what I have to say to the on jury view right here. My thing is this. Okay, here's the deal. That's what uh, the president says. Listen, it, it starts in Washington, honey. It's in Washington. These mother uppers are still debating, still discussing about the insurrection that happened a year ago. Okay, I understand the anniversary happened. I understand y'all doing so much. I prosecuted over 500 people. I understand. But look at this. If y'all could not have prosecuted that man and y'all impeached him not once but twice and that man did his first term and he had an office, y'all still talking about him. Y'all still talking about this man. When are y'all going to continue? When y'all going to move on with the pressing issues that's going to help the country? And this is the reason why shit happened. Pull me up. Pull me up, bitch. Pull me up. This is the reason why it is happening right now today is because y'all spending too much time in Washington discussing bullshit. The people have put y'all in there and, and they put y'all in there to help your community. They put you in there for you to be a voice for the community and to bring changes to the community. Right now that's happening in this country right now, this is the reason why the muck is happening in this country is because our local politicians are up in Washington arguing about dumb shit. He said, she said, you should have did this. Oh, if we can't get him, they're going to get that. If we, we're going to, we're going to send subpoenas out for this. We're going to do this. We're going to, uh, uh, oh, he's going to run again. Uh, he's the top nominee. Come on now. Y'all still talking about this. Y'all still talking about this bullshit. It ain't bullshit. It's our lives. No, that's not our lives. Our lives is what's happening today. Our lives is what's in the newspaper. Our lives is what's on the news. Okay? That's our lives. No matter how much you sugarcoat it, no matter how much you turn it around, that's our lives, bitch, is happening. Okay? And these motherfuckers are up in Washington arguing about some bullshit. They talking about bullshit. And they're not talking about, you know how much work we could have gotten done? You know how much legislation things could have gotten done? Money could have been out there and helping do things that, so when these shits happen, when this stuff like this attempt to happen, it could be stuff legislation and stuff there in place so it won't happen or stop it right in its tracks i'm just saying i'm just saying because it is really really sad because people don't understand 
that we are in 2022. This is not how we should be starting off the year. We should not be starting off the year like this. Okay. We should not be starting off the year like this. What we need to be doing is see this is the thing. It's like, and, and I, I know this is a pattern. I know it's a pattern. I know it's a pattern. I hate to say this, but damn it, it's a pattern. Okay. It's always a pattern like this. Okay. It's even a pattern in death. Okay. It's even a pattern in death. When I say a pattern in death, I'm talking about when one star died, there's like three stars that died in order. It's like two more stars die afterwards. You guys know what I'm talking about. When one star died, there's uh, two more that dies after. Okay. And, and what I'm talking about, you know, we had Betty White, City Portier, and we had Bob Saget. Okay. And then now we have Louis Anderson, and then we have another person. I don't know who, 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 but it's usually three. It usually comes in threes. So now it's like, okay, we start off, and, 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 and this is only in my order. You may have a different order, but this is how it is. It usually happens like this. It usually happens fires, shootings, and then the shootings go up. The fires go down. The shootings go up. Okay. The shootings go up to the point where it becomes, no, I'm serious. It's a fucking pattern. It's a pattern. Hear me out now here on jury review. Jury people listen to me now. It's a, it's always a pattern where it's always like an, it's like an officer and then it's a fire. Then it's like the shooting, the shooting goes up and then it becomes the, the mass shootings start to go up like the school shootings and, and, and all types of shooting. That, that shit just goes up. It goes up, up. Like some dumb shit, like st the stupid stuff like that just goes up. So if this legislation is passed in Washington where people like our legislators, uh, 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 representatives who are up there in Washington can start fighting for the pressing issues that need to be dealt with on the table instead of talking about shit that happened years ago and months ago, okay, that y'all can't even deal with. Y'all couldn't even fix it. So if you can't fix it, why are y'all still worried about, oh, we're going to go around it instead of getting the head? Get the head of it. Because if you get the head of it, then shit like this won't happen in the future. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, jury people. I'm just saying. This is this is what I'm saying right here on Jury Review. There's a lot I could discuss about, but I don't want to make this long. Okay, I, I was almost just going to do audio, but until I seen that the, the internet was not it was working now again. I just brought my face up in. Okay, so I'm not going to continue more in there. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Okay, jury people, I got two more and then I'm out of here, okay? Listen, one of them is this. Look, y'all, I know there's so many challenges happening and this is a new challenge that's happening out there. Please, guys, don't do this challenge, please. What is wrong with y'all? It's like every time we get a new challenge, first the challenges were supposed to happen for a good cause. Like, you know, fundraising, doing things that's going to help the, you know, just good thing, you know, the ice bucket challenge to help certain things. But listen, people. Linda, listen here. Listen, listen, people. Listen to me now. Jury people, listen. This is a new trend. This is a new challenge that I'm going to tell y'all about this. And y'all probably heard it about it. If you didn't hear about it, you're hearing it right here. Do not take raw chicken and cook it in night quilt. Don't do it. Do not. What? what? Do not take raw chicken and cook it in night quilt. Don't do it. Do not do it. First of all, the doctor said that it's, it's going to fuck you up. Okay? It's not going to fuck you up to the point where you taking a night call and already mess you up. But I'm saying, don't think that just because you putting a night call in and the chicken and you baking it and, and frying it and stuff is going to be all in there. No! Don't do it. Don't. That's a challenge you don't do. They say do not do it because 
It's all about how your body is going to respond to the methods of how you're consuming this night quilt. And if you're consuming it to the point where you're eating it in chicken and then you, you, you're frying it and then you're, oh God, don't, don't, please don't do that challenge. Go on social media and educate yourself on the, uh, the outcomes of what it could happen to you if you're planning on doing that challenge thinking, oh, well, I'm just going to do it just to see what the fuck it tastes like and what the fuck it, it's going to be. Don't do it, please. Don't do it. Okay? And last but not least, I'll be back. I've been wanting to say that for the longest. I'll be back. I'll be back. All right. So, Arnold Schwarzenegger, the former governor of California, okay, was involved in actor, was involved in a car crash in Los Angeles. Okay. The way it happened, the the freaking car, they car went under. And you know what you would think about uh Arnold and you know, started off being muscle guy and you know, doing all things with that and then terminated, just awesome guy. So the way you guys could go up on social media and see this picture it's like the car was under this how this how it was it was like this it was like this this is his his truck right and this was the car and it was under like this and his was up like this so you would you would think you know even with this guy being who he is and really bulky and everything you're like damn it wasn't at the. It wasn't flipped over. It wasn't rolled over. It wasn't T-boned. It was just that car was under. His car was up on top of their hood, and uh, one person was rushed to the hospital. They did say that there was no alcohol and there was no uh, liquor, not no drugs involved. So um, the the photo actor and the okay, turn it off. The photo actor and Former governor is okay. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, this has come to the end of jury review. I want to thank you guys so much. And, uh, oh, you know what? That is, that's actually, let me see, let me see. Let me see. Um, yeah. So, thank you guys so much for being here, right here, right now. I, I do want to say thank you to those who are here and thank those who are on their way i'm trying to look for this and it says that so much on here i'm just trying to see okay yeah i was trying to get my overview because so much time and work went into the into the um the overlay but i'm glad you guys like it i'm glad you guys like the thumbnail jury people thank you guys for being here fridays at usually go uh post at eight o'clock nine o'clock all right in jury review or on the blog page all right so thank you guys, and I'll see you guys very soon. For more information, you guys can visit the blog page. Have a good one.